the film is about um, a couple that deals with infertility and basically the external uh, judgmental pressure from society uh, begins to destroy this love and uh, between them and the relationship. It's like an obsession that, that this couple needs to have kids and the traditional uh, social obligations of uh, you're a married couple, you have to have kids now. And you notice that uh, the family of, 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 uh, of, of the man is very persistent to have uh, a child, even refuses the idea of adoption, which is also a subtext in the film. <laughs> You're a whole full woman even if you don't have kids and even if you don't get married and even if you don't have a partner or even if you, it's a choice, it's, it's, it's all about choices, you shouldn't be obliged to do something that you don't want to do and just to please society, even for the man, if he can't have kids, so what? I mean, this shouldn't be uh, such a huge uh, problem. As a woman living in the Middle East, I got sick of seeing women victimizing themselves and feeling sorry for themselves. And it's not because they're weak, it's because they were raised that way. It's because they grew up in a society where women are, uh, are basically portrayed as fragile and, uh, and uh, weak. And this is something that we need to change. And this is why I created Salam, because for me, she's my revolution, my inner revolution that comes out in the film, that, she's, that you could fight, that you can make a choice.